good morning. It's Saturday morning. Jeremy Jack here, cup of coffee. I won't be long. Number one. Okay. It's the beginning. The New World Order is now hit fully in America. At least it's going to start showing itself. Uh, a lot of you lost people who, who believe in the world and actually the awoke people, you guys are you guys are really going to wake up. Uh, uh, all you people who, who stood by all these all these people who said they stood by you are going to screw your asses. That's right. So it's getting to the point. The banks are going to crash. I got some money in the bank, but I think I'm going to try to take a little bit out here and there. Um, you know, I'm, I, I, I've been looking into the gold thing and all. But here's the, here's the thing right now. It doesn't matter anymore. The, 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 you can only save your flesh for so long, okay? If they keep pushing the envelope and keep pushing and keep pushing and making this thing come a little closer instead of 2030, making 2030 come to now, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a thing that you're going to suffer and your flesh is going to suffer. You're, and, and, and this is where, where God is going to sit back and say, how much armor have you got on and do you know how to use it? Because now, are you willing to ask for the power of God to get you through your, probably your last years? To get you through this life? So you will be protected throughout this life. Like an insurance policy. You know, they always have those insurance policies for cars. It's not quite insurance, but it's, a, it's insurance policy for your car when it breaks down. So you pay them so much money a month, and if your car breaks down, they'll, you know, you got all this. But see, that, that's what it, they're, they're going to try to push. The problem is, is that after, after things start falling apart, and they are, the banks are going to fall apart. Um, most institutions, and then that means the unraveling once again. Like they did with the pandemic, the same thing's going to happen. Uh, a, a banking system's going to fall. There'll be no money. Then there are things they're talking about. Well, we can change this. This is where the experts come in. Oh, you know how I love the word experts. You know what I think of experts. You turn them around, kick them in the ass, and tell them to move on. So anyway, you got your biochemical experts. I have no use for them. Uh, you got experts out there who think that they're they're the epitome of science. They're the gods of science. You know who I'm talking about, Doctor Alchi? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Mister Science himself. Yeah. Then you got that monkey who 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 who, uh, who thinks he's a Mister Science too. Uh, the guy who does the TV stuff. He's not even a real scientist. You know, you got all these people on TV, Doctor Oz. He ain't a real doctor, and yet. People put stock in these people. These are these are sideshow experts, basically. That's what they are. Sideshow experts. Alchi, a sideshow expert. That's all he is. And if you want to say he's an expert in anything, uh, he sure likes experiments on animals and people and you know puppies and you know all kinds of things like that. Remember the AIDS epidemic? Him and his boys were behind all that. A lot of people died after certain medications, but that's a whole other story. That's in the past. Oh, we can't remember that. That's way back when. Yeah. Uh, we don't think about you that way anymore. Then you got the other idiot, the other expert, who isn't even a doctor, on a panel of international health. Isn't that a joke? An expert. Now you got your banking experts, all these people. There's a guy that goes on television and he sits there and he, he tells you he tells you who's in, who's out, what stocks are to, to, to invest in. And then when he talks about banking system, he usually there's a lot of times, I don't know who this guy, but a lot of times I've heard about him and seen him, where most of the stuff he talks about, most of the time, a lot of times he's he's wrong. He's wrong about his assumptions. Then he'll just say, oh, I'm sorry. So you sat there and listened to him and probably took some money out or bought something and ended up finding out that it crashed and, oh, I'm sorry. But he was an expert and you listened to him like a butthead. So whose fault was that? Was it his for saying it or was it you for believing it? See, this is what I'm saying, people. The, the only expert 
thing you're ever going to, only expert information you're ever going to get is God through the Holy Spirit. That's it, in His Word. That's expert right there. The Word, when it's when it's read with the Holy Spirit, is expert advice. There you go. The only expert that is worth being called an expert. God in Holy Spirit and power. Because the rest of you monkeys out there, I wouldn't pay you for your advice. I wouldn't pay most of you to walk my dog, let alone, you know, clean my house, let alone make me roll up my sleeve and tell me you're going to get, no, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Don't believe in experts. Isn't it funny that every time the experts get involved, everything goes to hell. Everything unravels. Everything falls apart. Right? And when things fall apart, the experts come in and make it even worse. So for you people who sit there and listen to these monkeys on television and sit there and say, Oh, well, the experts say this and the experts say that. The experts believe that you should turn off the TV, please. For your own sake, stop turning those things on. Stop listening, unless you're going to filter it. If you do what I do in many, we watch it and filter it. We keep up with all the lies so we can go and do some real research and figure out what the truth is. Because if you listen to the television, you think you're getting information that is good for you? No. No, it's not. It's a placebo pill to make you think you feel good. You know, make you think you're there on your side. Make it, but it's nothing. So, I just wanted to say that before I go into my slavery, my slave job. That's what I think of it. I left yesterday, and I've been waiting for this uh, company that my company ended up hiring to do in you know checking out the place and giving us a score and seeing what we're I wasn't there the new kid was there so we failed but I left the place in perfect order left the place I mean if the health inspector were to come in again I'd get another hundred I mean the place was but I left it and the kid was there so we got like a 43 when we, were, when we would have passed with a 70 So, so it's like, you know, you, you got you to gotta understand something. That things are going to get rough, you know, in your life and in the world. So you think about your life. You think of how rough things are going to get. Just imagine you go to your bank and you're, you're going to pay your rent, and all of a sudden the banks aren't giving out money. You can't pay your rent. What do you tell your, what do you tell your, your landlord? Your landlord can't get any money from you. They can't get money from the bank. They can't even back up their, 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 their own payments that they have to make. All of a sudden, they go belly up, you're out in the street because they can't pay on mortgages or pay on whatever they have to pay. You see what I'm saying? This is how the experts have programmed things to be. So this is what the experts' purpose is, to steal, kill, and destroy. There's your experts. To, to unravel, that's an expert. When they say they're experts, you know, oh shit, they're here to, they're here to destroy something. Oh hell, they're here to fuck something up. You know, that's, that's an expert. Oh Lord, here comes another. Oh, we got a new expert? Oh God, maybe, he, maybe he's better than the last expert. No. Maybe he's worse than the last expert. Maybe he's just as wrong as the last expert good percentage of the time they're always wrong or they thought they were right and turned out they were wrong but then they try to hide it so you don't know that they were wrong then they push you under something that's how the monkey the only expertise they have is is to lie and to manipulate and to change the story they're good at that stuff like little children they're good at it remember remember most of them are possessed most of them, most of them are, are money hungry little little flesh bags, right? They they like the money, you know. I always often wonder how a doctor 
in a hospital, you know, since these last couple of years, uh, knowing, knowing that the practices right now in the medical community ain't quite up to par. And yet, and yet, they're, they're able to take a paycheck with a lot of zeros on it for doing something that would be considered unethical. Unethical. And they know better, but the money is just too good. How do you sleep at night, doctor, knowing that maybe you've done harm when you Hippocratic Oath said, you know, the otherwise that you took, supposedly? Are you really the hypocrite? So I just wanted to say that, that people need to have a conscience now. Doctors. All, all, all you people who are still in the practice because you weren't truthful. You're still practicing and making a lot of money because you were unethical. Because your, your ability to want to heal uh, got taken over in your thought processes because of greed. Because of zeros at the end of that check. Because when you go home in your nice Mercedes Benz and your, your nice home with the pool in the back. And then you go, this summer you're probably going to go out, and, you know. So this is where your heads are at. That, I always say it's up your eye and anus, you know, that crack that you sit on. So most of you are like that, who, you know, doctors who, who, who have not uh, 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 settled for their credibility, who, who would not, you know, put their standards uh, 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 of, of right and wrong uh, uh, on the pedestal, who fell to the wayside. Experts in your field. Experts, traitors, liars. There's your experts. So I want to leave you today to think about whenever you hear the word expert, I want it to be a dirty word. I want it to be a, a bad taste in your mouth. Especially when your biochemical experts have a very bad taste in your mouth. Okay? When, when there are people like Dr. Science, you know who I'm talking about, is always on TV. You know, uh, well, you know, I, I know what I'm talking about, blah, 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 changing the story all the time. Oh, Americans won't have to wear, remember that? Yeah, expert. So anyway, just thought I'd, I'd let you know. Be ready, tomorrow night is the Oscars. This is the next devil-worshipping show, and they're doing it on a Sunday. Usually Sunday is a day set aside for worship, for God, right? Well, they're going to worship the Oscar. That, that, that thing, that, you know, and that's what it's all about. The actors, I, I, I mean, just look, the singers suck. Beyonce, Rihanna, I don't, they, they all sound the same. They, they have tuning things and stuff like that. They don't sound all like, they sound like, the songs and the music suck. And, and, and as a musician, I have a right to say that. I know what music should sound like. And, 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 and I can tell tune voices. And, tune, you know. and, and, and then the actors and actresses, the movies sucked. I would never watch any of these movies. They, they, they don't know. They, they want to make a black little mermaid and do it for the wrong reasons. It doesn't matter. It's all fake anyway. You know, uh, you've got actors and actresses out there who are finally getting caught because they're perverts, because they're rapists, you know. You, 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 you know, you, Hollywood itself is looking like a joke. All these people you worshipped, now the true colors are starting to show. But here's the thing, there's still monkeys out there who still worship other monkeys. They like to worship the creation. Because they don't like the creator. So, anyway, that's another thing, like I said, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's going to be tomorrow night. Stepping on, stepping on churches. Most people won't go to Sunday night service because they don't watch the Oscars. Monkeys. Anyway, Derby Jack out. See y'all on the other side.